Hi, SLP. How you doing? <laughs> Hope you're on mute. Oh, just kidding. There we go. You should be able to now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's five o'clock. Like it magic, is. but I know it's it's not like magic. It's we're here <laughs> because of the generosity and kindness of the public theater and how around it's watched me work. Um, I'm SLP. We get together uh, most Mondays and we work together and we talk about your work and your creative process. And we've been doing this for, I know I have my notes here because I can't remember for a long time, <laughs> like over 10 years we've been doing this. Um, it can't be that long, but it, it, it is more than 10 years. Um, we were doing it every day in a row during the lockdown in 2020 and uh, now we're back to like once a week um it's easy all we do is work together and uh lolly can tell you if you have a question after our specific work time which is going to be 20 minutes um lolly will have a uh, some answers to how you can get in touch with us and ask me a question about your creative process go lolly yes if you'd like to ask a question if you're in zoom with us you can ask questions by clicking on the raise your hand button which could either be in the participants tab on the bottom of your screen or in the reactions tab. If you have any trouble finding it, please send me a message in the chat and I can do my best to help you. Um, if you're watching the stream live on HowlRound with us, feel free to send us your questions via the Public Theater's Instagram or Twitter account or via Watch Me Work's Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Uh, so that's how you can ask a question. All right. Thank you, Lolly. And so we are going to get to work. I got my timer set for 20 minutes. Here we go.
We're back. We are back indeed. We are back indeed. Do. Here's the moment when I take questions from you. Don't make me rhyme anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we already have folks on deck to answer yeah, questions. Kimmy, hey. Okay, you, you call on them, Lolly. You call them. <laughs> okay, Kimmy, I'm asking you to unmute. Did I do it? Yay. All How right. you doing, girl? Hi, I've got, I miss you so much. I miss everybody. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm, I'm well, I got hypnotized for depression and it is a game changer. I, I didn't know you could feel this way. Well, it, it's good. It's a good feeling. It's so good. So did they, did you, did they snap their fingers and bring you out well, of it? Or are you still hip, under hypnosis? I, I'm not humping anybody's leg, but I'm, I'm feeling happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. wow that's so, amazing so, yeah it that was amazing congratulations good for you thank you it was it was it, it got so bad i called suicide hotline they asked me to call back they go do you have a gun and i went no but i have a rope or no you're like so i thought wow they're really overwhelmed and i said i i gotta use this for my comedy but also fuck now what so wow. yeah and i wasn't i wasn't happy about medication so I, this is just it's been a whole different world for me and now all of that all of that angst and childhood trauma is out of my way and i'm just now writing like i've never written before amazing and how did you find your hip hip my friend um had to uh quit smoking mm -hmm for dental implants and he turned into a whole completely different person. And I thought, well, God, if they can get you to stop doing something addictive, they got to be able to help stop you from being sad. So I figured what the hell I've tried everything else. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'll, anybody needs a, a little help. Just let me know and I'll send you the link. <laughs> could you, um, could you put the, would you mind yeah. putting the link in the chat? Because you know, it, it might be a hard question to ask. You know what I mean? It might be hard yes. to ask. Okay. That that's is true. so generous. That yeah. Is so generous, Kimmy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was amazing. It's only $150. It, it was do they four do it hours. Over Zoom or do they you have to go oh, over the phone? Okay. Yeah. You don't over have to the look phone. at them. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it was, it was great. And if you ever have any problems again, you only pay $150 once and you can call again for free for the rest of your life. Sounds like a religious experience. It a was a religious experience. It was. I'm walking on water and everything. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. We're Thank so you. It, for you. Wow. it gives me it gives me the the strength to dig into some really deep deep shit. To be honest with you, you know, I'm 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 working on some really powerful things that are not going to go over well with people, and it that makes me like art. You know, Duke Ellington said that. Art is really outrageous and it's tough and it's hard. And when it's not those things and you don't want to have anything to do with it, like that's a paraphrase of his quote, but you know, it's the stuff that I, I don't want to talk about my childhood trauma, but it certainly has informed me. So I'm, I'm digging into deep stuff. And one of the things that I wanted to, 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 to ask you about is I picked up this book that was copywritten in 1997 by Dorothy E. Roberts called Killing of the Black Body. Mm -hmm. And it is a very, I mean, as, as a woman who's had sexual trauma, it's, it just both speaks to you as, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happens. And it's been happening and it's perpetuated since slavery. And the first thing I thought was, as I'm reading her text, it's a it's an intellectual book of of how black women have been blamed for reproducing racism as per the white man. Um, and I see this as a play. But is this something even though I'm a woman of color, but I'm not a black woman, is this something that would be offensive if I took on the material? And also, even though it's I'm using her book as reference. Is it a is it something that I have to option? And if I do, how do I go about that? And yeah, so that's all that. All right, all right. 
great questions again congratulations did you put the link in the chat i'm gonna get it i'm gonna i'm gonna okay. do it right now while we're okay, talking we after talk we talk I will. yeah awesome sauce okay great um i would very strongly suggest if it, you know in, unless something is in the public domain which in many cases but not all cases in many cases that means it was written over a hundred years ago, I believe, but you yes. check with you, you know, okay, okay. But, uh, but not all cases, because there's some operas that were written in the 1800s that are still copyrighted. So be very mindful. But if you're ever working with someone else's work, you need to get their legal permission. Okay. Okay. You, you, that, that, that is, you know, you just got to do that. It's, it's not only, it's not only because, um, we want to be, you know, lawyered up and all that ridiculousness. It's not about that. It's just doing what's what's the, the right thing to do. Okay. You just got to do the right thing. Okay. So 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 we we credit that person. We we might option, like you said, that 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 material. And um, yeah, it's an amazing book. And you would want to definitely credit, especially if she practically pretty much kind of sort of just wrote it. Ninety seven, right? Um, also, um, would it be offensive to people? It depends on the person and the, 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 instead of would it be offensive to people, I think you should ask yourself, um, um, is, is this a story that you feel um, that is yours to write? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's more like that. So, mm -hmm. you, you know, if you take a survey of people, everybody's going to have a different opinion about what you should be doing. That's less important. The most important thing is that if it's a story that you feel you need to write uh then then that's you know it's between you and and yourself <sighs> yes thank you because it's speaking to me um you know it's it's a compilation of history uh mm -hmm. from her research and also she um cites so many different um you know buck versus bell and loving versus virginia you know those kinds of things and i think it's uh i know from my own research skinner versus oklahoma where they're talking about the sterilization of black men i believe it was you know just truck drivers driving through town so i just wanted to these stories need to be told i have such a passion for them but again i didn't want it to seem like I was mining someone else's life for my own uh, art, if that, right. no, I'm trying to be respectful. That's great, that's great, Kimmy. It's so important that we even just acknowledge, it's so important that we acknowledge that because there's a lot of, there's a lot of work out there that you know, does exactly what we're talking about. And, you know, really great though. But yeah, you got that's between you and you, you know? Okay. If you if you feel like this is something that you need to talk about, then that's a conversation right. you have with yourself. You know. Thank you for your time. Yeah. It's good to see everybody's faces. So amazing the, the hypnosis. Put it in the chat. Put it. In the I chat. am gonna. I'm gonna go we're get it right now. Them, we're, all gonna, we're all gonna call them and get hypnotized. And we're okay. gonna feel so great. We're gonna be dancing, <laughs> dancing like. Uh, like and I'll put my information in case anybody wants to reach out and ask a bunch of questions. So, so again, so if, if people feel uncomfortable, just in the chat, you can uh, talk to me personally, and I'd be very happy to, to answer any questions. I'm a little open book. At 60 years old, I don't really give a shit. I have no secrets at this point. <laughs> I'm glad the writing's going well also. It is. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Kimmy. Okay, Melania, you're up next. Ooh, Melania, how you doing? Hello, Susan. How you doing, girl? How you doing? I'm fine. Here, happy we are in on vacation. Oh, nice. Oh, Very yeah, nice. That's, that's nice. Um, yes, and we went some days, a few days to New York City, oh. and I passed by the public theater, and they were all so kind, so nice. Oh, and I saw the mezzanine nice. where you did. Yeah, you, remember you, you used to I do it. Why didn't you? Why didn't you send it, get a text to me? I would have met you there, and we would, could have done a reenactment. Uh, I didn't know how to reach you, and I didn't want to bother you. Oh, I, bless your heart! Oh, I'm so uh, glad you had fun uh, in New York. Yes, it was okay. very, very nice. It was okay. beautiful, and what I I want to thank the public theater, all around everybody. When I went there, 
And I said, yes, because I love watch me work. Yeah. And, I, and everybody loves you. And they said, oh. yes, please come. I presented my, my you know, my vaccination. Yeah, 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 and then, yeah. and then they, they allowed me to take pictures. So I was there trying oh, to imagine cool. how it was. Yes. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> yes, so it was beautiful. Yeah. And another thing that I would like to share is that after all your help and from this community, I presented, you remember I was working on a novel that I had to present the idea yeah. and you talk about the flashcards because I was a little, I, yeah. I didn't do. Well, my, I don't know the results because I have to wait for months, but I presented the work. I did it. I show up and if I could do that, it's because of you. Congratulations. And community. Congratulations. Thank That's you. fantastic. I was, when, when I, put the, I did the click, yes. It yes, was yeah, right. Woohoo. Right. Yeah. right. So thank oh, you. So great. Thank so you. great. All right. All right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's a lot. That's a big hurdle you got over, right? Big mountain. Oh, yes, because to me, what was important at the end, I, I have this situation with perfectionism, you know, that uh -huh. I, I need to be perfect. And I am working on that, trying, right. you know, to change it, but at the same time to embrace what happens to me when I, and all of this, when I try to be perfect, that is something that is not human, and I am right. a human being, so it's impossible. Right. I, right. Get, I get stuck, and I can't create because I don't give me the, the permission to do it. Right, so right. I did, I, I did my, my flashcards, I said I have permission, talk to the hand it was the, all this loss they think with the loss I <laughs> ran away when, oh, oh, all the techniques and wow. I could do it so I am so That's thankful fantastic. to you Susan because and all this community because I feel inspired I, I can that it's okay not to be okay and at the right. same time we can create together and mm -hmm. it's okay because it's what we have in our heart you know so present it be yeah. be proud of who we are yeah yeah and, Right on. Yes. That's so great. Woohoo. Thank you. Thank what a you. day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. What a day we're having. Woo. Such joy can come from just doing your thing, you know? Such joy. Anybody else have questions? Feel free to raise your hand. How's your work going, Rebecca? Just curious. Uh oh, can she? Can Rebecca answer? I just wanted. I just was. Yeah, like, I think it should. You should you be go. able to unmute. There you go. I, I'm unmuted now. There you go. How's it going? Uh, hi, Susan. I I have been doing a, a walk and read um, towards the edit of the third draft right and um, I, I realized I'm really happy with the first, um, let's see, the first 80 pages okay. and, um, and I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do some pitching of it to mm -hmm. some agents because um, they only want 10 pages, so. Right. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out um, and I and I think the section there's a section that is a transition piece mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between 1937 white press reports okay and 1937 negro press reports wow of the events and wow. uh, I can't remember the name of the book. There was this, um, it was a fictionalized account of a, um, a murder in South Africa mm -hmm. where the, a young uh, white woman was murdered. Um, and the mother of the young man accused of the murder, who's a, a black man, there's like this conversation of perspectives. Right. right. And that's what I'm using the newspapers for. Mm -hmm. 
And in the middle is, frankly, the, the, in my memoir, and I guess it's kind of a whodunit, is the person who's accused of the murder. Mm-hmm. And um, who's my uncle? I never knew him, but he would have been my uncle. Mm-hmm. And I'm, that part, half of it just like does not work. So that's where I sort of have stopped. And I, and, and I think I've got a chunk of stuff that I either need to lose completely, uh-huh. Uh-huh. that I worked on really hard <laughs> or, uh-huh. Uh-huh. or just need to move. And, you know, my, my writing style is kind of, let's start out here, Mm -hmm. like with, you know, an example is like the era before the, the ice age in North America, and then kind of move in to how do you get to the Ohio river? So that's, that's kind of the the way I, I work. Uh So, and I think I talked about this section on cotton and the cotton mm-hmm. gin. Mm-hmm. And, and so it starts out here and it's, it's to get at one idea, um, right. but it's either in the wrong place or it's gotta go. So I, I'm trying not to get stuck there again. Right, so, I hear you. I yeah. Hear you. And um, so, but you know, I'm tired of being tormented by the ancestors, so I have to get this done. <laughs> right, right. They, they are insistent. And um, so that's just kind of the place I'm at. But I'm, I've been happy with the walk and read. I do about 20 minutes uh-huh. at a time. Uh-huh. And uh, it gets me, you know, about, you know, 600 steps in. <laughs> and so I get to meet that goal too. So that's that's kind of where things are at. That's fantastic. That sounds fantastic. So are you? It sounds like you're ready to send it off to an agent. I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. Again, I, I recognize it doesn't have to be perfect or or even finished uh, from the perspective of nonfiction, um, and. Um, and it, it feels like, you know, I've always felt like, oh, I'm going to miss my moment. I'm going to miss my moment. And of course, I'm never going to miss my moment with this particular subject, right. um, sadly, in this country. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I, I feel like starting to pitch it and see if there's any interest mm-hmm. would be helpful. Uh-huh. And even someone saying, wow, this is really interesting. No, we're not going to, you know, pick it up is, right. is helpful. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. So uh-huh. I'm, uh, I'm willing to sort of let that happen or right. whatever happened with, with doing it. Um, this year, I, I had a fellowship at, at Columbia. It's basically on kind of reparations and, uh-huh. um, and I was applying for different things and I realized, oh, I guess I can apply for things. A little, <laughs> oh. a little taking a long time to get there. So, uh-huh. um, so I, I think that's where I am with, with the manuscript as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, sounds like you're in a really good place though. It, it, feels, it feels pretty good right now. I, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to, um, yeah, keep up a daily engagement with it sort of one way or another, um, mm-hmm. either the walk and read or, or making the edits. Um, and um, I, I think I'm gonna extract the cotton piece and kind of set it aside and see if it ends up fitting somewhere else. Right, right. Or, or you know, even if, even if you're sometimes, if you're open to moving it or something, mm-hmm. then, you don't have to do it right away, you know, and allowing, yeah, allowing a, a new, a new um, place to put it to suggest itself, you know? Yeah. Um, it's, 
Yeah, and I'm not even quite sure why it ended up where it ended up. So, oh. <laughs> um, you, mean, you mean in the placement of the in the placement? The uh-huh. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I, I I write one of I had a a a, a friend read mm-hmm. a one and a half two draft, mm-hmm. and she was really clear that I needed to get to the point sooner. And that's really worked. Okay. Um, but it's it's not strictly a memoir, and it's not strictly a whodunit. It's also how did we get to this place? And cotton really figures in for my mm-hmm. family and for for mm-hmm. Black people mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. you know the Jim Crow period and early Jim Crow and. Um, and the, there is something that happens to a cotton worker that mirrors what happens to mm-hmm. my uncle. Uh-huh. And sort of that's, to me, the, the conceit I'm getting at is mm-hmm. 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 there's some things that redemptionists, rege- redemptionists use uh against black bodies so Mm -hmm. and um so that's so so it may just be too long but Uh i also think cotton is beautiful (laughs) the flower is so pretty Uh Uh so Uh so there's all that Uh there's this and then there's this yeah yeah but that's also you know when you um you know find you know your agent your editor and all those kinds of things Mm-hmm. hopefully they'll also be g- able to give you specific and very helpful you know um things to think about when you continue to focus it down you know you know but the yeah. great thing is is that you've done the work you know yeah. what a beautiful thing uh, and congratulations because i know you've been working very beautifully and purposefully on this you know for a while so really yeah. really cool to hear Thank about you. it yeah, Thank very, you. very cool. Cannot wait. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, no, really, really great. Really great. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Looks like Nancy would like hey, to Nancy. ask a question. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. It's not exactly a writing question, but it's a business of writing question. Okay. A number of years ago, I wrote a screenplay and it's okay. It's it's okay. It's a it's commercial, but it's fun. And I had g- given it to uh, an actor, an older actor, well known actor, and he said he would do it. But he he did write a note of intention, but he didn't help raise money, and everything kind of fell apart as these things do. And then I'm sitting in front of Mogador, and this woman walks by another famous actress whose work is, she, and she's not acting so much now, but she's so political and wonderful and I jumped up and I don't you know she was surprised because mostly the young people wouldn't have noticed her and I had rewritten a version of the script with a woman in the main character she plays a a town mayor in Scotland and because I thought oh Joan Darling not Joan Joan Rivers would be sure she died and and then it was like I didn't say, I talked to her about her show. She did a, a show at town hall and then I you know, let her go off to have her dinner. And then it, it occurred to me, wow, she could be great. So I found out her manager's name from my friend who lives in LA who subscribes to this thing. And I wrote notes and because we knew someone in common, they responded. And of course they asked me, well, who's directing? Who, what's the budget? blah, 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 all those horrible questions that I had no answer for. And, um, and I kind of worked it out with a friend who used to teach, you know, in a film school. And I said, well, if I could have a note of intention and blah, blah, blah. Okay. I probably won't hear from them because I don't have an agent and I've, I've, I've really been trying with this film for a long time and it has a new life, I think, because of what's going on here politically even though it's a rom, it's not a rom, it's sort of rom-com, but it's, it's got an edge. And, uh, and I live across the street from somebody who happens to be the right, he's Scottish. <laughs> and he was always in mind and I never ever approached him because 
like, oh, oh, I never meet him. He's famous. He's never around, but his partner is. I just wonder, is it too gauche to leave a note at their door? Because if, if he were interested, and then I could go back to the manager and say, blah, da, 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 da. And maybe from that point, I could start cobbling a team together because I, I make these small little documentaries that take years and don't make any money. I, I don't I'm not in film school. I don't have a team. Uh -huh. I really don't know anybody. I'm out of the loop. And I but I don't want to completely embarrass myself since I live on the street and I wouldn't want him to have to avoid me. Right. Oh, there she is. Well, I, that's a, I think all those are great questions and I would. I would say suggest i mean i and i know embarrassment is a real thing and i i'm not inviting you to you know bring shame upon yourself or your family <laughs> um but i uh, uh, two, two things um one I, I think make the move leave the note ask um because i'm i'm assuming this this person who is you know well known and well respected uh, is a is a grown up and knows how to politely decline a generous and serious offer from somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. just ima imagine if, so, if someone really wanted you to do something and they asked and you said, you, oh, well, sure. Or, oh, well, no. Or, oh, let me read the script or let my, my spouse read the script. And I'll, you know, th there's so many ways of, of um, so that's one, make the ask. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Thank you. keep your note, you know, professional and to the point and reference, maybe, uh, you know, just give, give a little synopsis, you know, something like that. Um, keep, but keep it short. Cause, cause you don't want them to go, Oh, I don't have time to read the, the cover letter, you know, um, um, reference. If you, you said, you know, somebody in common, I, I, I got, um, Oh, uh, well, I, I, I know his partner, his husband. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So reference the, the fact that you know his husband, you're not just some stalker weirdo, right? Okay. Right. So that's first Weird, of all. Weirdo, but not stalker. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Ah, I love it. Love it. Ah, you're welcome to the, welcome to the club <laughs> or, or I'm welcoming myself to your club. Yeah. Um, but the other thing, uh, two other things, Nancy, make sure it's copyrighted or written or whatever. Make sure you have it registered with whatever entity one should have. Fantastic. Yeah. That's number two. One more thing, which is really a small thing, because um, you're you're a writer and you're, you're a director and you do all these things. Be mindful of your language when you talk about how you don't have the connections, don't know the people. Hear yourself. Don't talk yourself out of any possibility that might come your way. You know, when we say things like. I don't have, I don't have the connections. I don't know anybody. I don't have a team, you know, yeah. you have a team. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have connections. It, what, you know, just, just, I got what I need to get this off the ground. Just it's, it's a form of, um, who, who was it? Kimmy was talking about hypnosis, right? She went to a professional or she, she called up a professional, right? Okay. That's a professional thing that you, you go to school for and you learn. But we have a non-professional layperson's form of hypnosis that we do on ourselves every day. And it's called self-talk. And you gotta, we all gotta catch that. You gotta catch that self-talk and mm. do your part in hypnotizing. I'm using air quotes because it's not real hypnosis, just the daily track that you're running in your head. We all need to need to just catch when we're talking ourselves down or smalling ourselves up or you know, I'm too tall. I'm too, you know, my feet are too big. Oh, no one will ever, whatever, whatever we know. Okay. And we all do it. Yeah. And, and so, so just be mindful of that. Cause I think that will actually increase your chances for success. I, I hear that. Right. Clear, loud and clear. And it Thank feels you. good and it doesn't cost you anything. We love, I love things that feel good and don't cost you anything. Like watch me work. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but it sounds like great, Nancy. You've got someone who lives on your block, <laughs> oh a God. famous person. You know their spouse. Oh my God! Write a little query letter, whatever you call it. You know, write a little letter intro. Yeah. Slip it under the door or whatever. Boom, and start. You know, start cheering yourself on in your head. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, my, my astro astrologer said I should be pay more attention to my intuition. And that's, yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Yes. And you've got the Aurora Borealis in the background. Girl, what more do you need? Yeah, I'm here in the Yukon on 9th Street. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you got the Northern Lights. Beautiful. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you, Nancy. Thank Great you, question. Nancy. Do we have time for another question or two? Does anybody have one? How are you doing, Jim? I don't mean to call you out. I'm just curious. It's good to see you, bro. Hey, will, will Lolly unmute? I just want to say hi. If Lolly won't unmute you. Will you unmute, Jim? There you go. Can I say something then? Sure. I bro. But I don't want to sound too fawning, but I just wanted to thank you because I started coming to watch me work after Donald Trump won the election because I knew I needed something. And I knew I was about to, I had just turned 65 and I was about to leave the career I made in doing AIDS work to go back to the career in theater that I had been deflected from when I got to New York and all of a sudden we're in the middle of that epidemic. I cannot regret doing that work because it's become famous and it actually saved a lot of lives by changing AIDS research and regulation. So, when I came to your class, class, watch me work, because it's 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 really a joint project, and that's why it's so wonderful. I had been taking at least smart enough, even when I was doing other work, to be taking notes for three plays I knew I wanted to write before I died. Mm. And I just wanted to say thank you so much because. The first one I wrote in person under, you know, absorbing the aura of Watch Me Work. And then the next two I actually drafted during the lockdown. And not only that, because I was so, you know, and, and they're not perfect, but I knew I had to write them had to get them down on paper and write them. And I was so happy with them that I thought, well, the Greeks, when they had a trilogy, they wrote a satyr play with it. And so I've even written in the last year, a draft of kind of a burlesque spoof because the three plays are social, are very, are as close to tragedy as modern writing can get because they are deal with three jo social justice issues mm -hmm. that I have been involved in in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, uh, at 70 now, it's, it's hard. It's good to look back and be happy for what I've done, mm -hmm. but it's also hard to look back to see where our society is right now. Mm -hmm. But in some ways, the thing that has gotten me through has been a being able to get on paper the plays that I would have written had my career not been diverted. So I will not go to my grave being having any regrets that I didn't write them. And the first one had a wonderful reading and all that. Uh -huh. COVID has... Others have possibilities for reading with a director I know over Zoom. But I'm sorry for all this, but I was um, privileged enough to see the death of the last black man back in Brooklyn in 1990, was it? 89, 90, yeah. And that changed, that, that changed my idea of what theater could do. So this is in some ways just to thank you, not just for that, but very specifically these last five years for kind of being, even if it's in a distance, the muse that allowed me 
to have the career that in some ways was taken from me because I went into AIDS work. So I'm sorry for all that, but thank you. Oh, Jim, that's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. What a blessing you are to me. Really, really, every week you're here and doing the such beautiful work. And like I said, this is this is why um, this is why I love this class. I'm now crying. My mascara going to run out. Oh. But no, because we we inspire each other, and we encourage each other. And on the days we feel like I don't have a team, we show up. And even when it's not a Monday at five, you show up anyway because you know that. I know that Jim's showing up somewhere. I know that Lou's showing up. I know that Milani's showing up. Rebecca's been showing up. You know what I mean? I know that you guys are showing up um, somewhere out there. You, you, we're, we're each taking a step or two or, or 600 steps forward um, toward this. And Jim, you're right. Even if we look back when we're very, very old and, and happy to to uh, let go and transition into the next realm. We look back and say, at least I did my work. Did, I did my work, you know? And that's the, the, the thing that we, we are encouraging in each other. Because there's something beautiful and deep about that. And I do this, it's funny, I do this. This is um, when my, my son was, uh, whatever, before he could talk, now he talks a mile a minute, but before he, he began to speak, when he was little, you know, they teach you, um, as a mom or dad, food when, you know, so the kid says, you know, Milani's laughing, yeah, food, food. And are you hungry? You want food, but it is food. The, the work we do is, is fruit. We're feeding ourselves. And I don't know how we're, I don't know how it, it, it all works out. I didn't go to grad school. I don't have a higher degree in this, but I do have um, a lot of, you know, time on the track or on the path. And so do you guys. And we, and we each get better, you know, it's cool, right? And it's like an experiment, like, I don't know what we're doing. Let's show up and see who's there, you know? Um, and Jim, you, you know, in the lobby or Melania on online on the, in the lobby, remember? And we would show up when there was like, sometimes it was only like me and Jim <laughs> in the lobby or, and Melania would call in and we were like, yay, you know? Or Crystal would come or whatever, or Rebecca was there, you know? Or, um, you know, or Lynn and um, anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing, Jim. Um, thank you all. What a lovely session today. It was very like, heartwarming to be a part of. <laughs> I feel very honored to be in this space. Um, it is six o'clock. I think that's a beautiful note to end on. Um, and we will be here every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern now through August 22nd. Um, we're getting those signups up on the web very soon. So you can count on seeing us weekly if you'd like. Um, <laughs> thank you all very much. Yeah, thank you. Blessings, kisses, hugs, blessings. See you next.